Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to y'all out there. And this is a, a quick sit down lesson, uh, May the 18th, 2022, at 3.05 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the uh, title of this quick sit down lesson is Rumors of Wars. And this is a news article from uh, RT.com World News. And this was published on May the 18th, 2022. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, Israel to simulate attacks on Iran, media reports. It says the exercise of cover potential Iranian retaliation for the shelling of its nuclear facilities. Uh, for the first time, the Israeli Air Force's major chariots of fire exercises will include practice drills for a wide-scale strike in Iran, the Times of Israel reported. On Tuesday, citing sources, the drill over the Mediterranean Sea will begin on May the 29th during the fourth and final week of the month-long exercise. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right, because we are uh, hearing the increase of the wars and rumors of wars in the world today. And it's going to increase more and more. See that ye be not troubled, which is the men of the Lord that serves the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Because once we continue to uh, grow and being in his truth, faithfully, truthfully, and sincerely, you know, and we'll know these things when it comes to pass, you know, because more uh, upcoming prophecies are going to be fulfilled as well, too. Uh, for all these things must come to pass, right? Because all these prophecies must come to pass, you know. Because we are living in those times of these prophecies come to pass, but... The end is not yet because more prophecies are still coming, you know. But the end is not yet, right? Because the end is not yet because more prophecies are coming, like I mentioned before, you know. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, through the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, for nations shall rise against nation, as we see them right now. Because, you know, uh, Israel and Iran... Yeah, I told you to beat up people and do it after a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't let y'all do that. Right. I think I used to beat up my old house. Yeah. I told that shit, they got off and made some gravy with the meatball. Right. And mashed potato. Oh, okay. But that meat, it didn't taste right. Mm -hmm. I ain't never get nobody to cook nothing to make them sick because they ain't that thing over there. I put shoulder over there at the old house. Mm -hmm. That's three years, two years for that. Right. No, I forget that. I'm going to sit somewhere different. Yeah, true. Yeah, I throw it away. I poke the whole water. Mm. Right. Well, I don't cook nothing like somebody sitting there. I don't do that. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm making the mashed potatoes. They'll be better for them, you know. Yeah. Easy to fly, you know. True. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, yeah, uh... I will speak to my OG back to what I was saying, Matthew 24 and 7, and it reads, For nations shall rise against nations, which we're seeing right now. Because, you know, Iran and uh, Israel got that long conflict between one and... Yeah, I'm glad she do, too. Yeah. Right. You get these calls, homie, you got to pay that shit off. Mm -hmm. Six years now. 
Yeah. So I had that paper, you got to know what you're doing. That's why I be trying to tell Mark. I said, I'll be here another year. Mm-hmm. I got to pay that call. Right. You no. Know? I can't wait on so because that's why I'm saving this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pay it off. Yeah. Two side pay. Every two weeks, I pay one. You know, $50 in, $50 left. So I pay it off. Right. You no, know, at least I'm paying, huh? Yeah, so sure it is. It's payable. That's all I got to do. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I ain't putting that car out there. I pay for it. Right. Well, I, get that I can't even jump up. I ain't going to be out there because of no fucking cop. <laughs> right. That's what she just said. See? <laughs> True. I had to do what I had to do. At least yeah. I paid him something. I was paying on it. And still going to pay on the hook. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't paying on it. really be high. Yeah. <laughs> no one did. Look at that man did for you. Yeah. But that boy, nobody got no more like you on one four fifty income. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so lucky about that again. So yeah, you know, uh Iran and uh Israel got this long conflict between one another. So that's why I brought out the scripture and doing a lesson on this and I brought this news article out from RT dot com. I believe Israel is doing a, uh, some type of uh, simulation of a simulation uh, attack on you know Iran so it's like a similarity attack because you know because they uh, receiving uh, potential threats from Iran you know so that that goes that goes into the nation should rise against nation and we are seeing that in other parts around the world as well too and relates to uh, the nation. The nation is going against one another, and the different kingdoms going against one another as well, too. And it's formally uh, increasing, you know. In Matthew 24 and 7, I'm going to start over and read it again through the Holy Scriptures for edification's sake. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. In verse 7, in the book of Matthew, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms. There shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And these are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we are ending in the beginning stages of sorrows. Because these uh, prophecies around the world is going to furthermore increase in the latter days. Because, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in, you know. And I'm going to bring out one more scripture, I believe, that's uh, in the book of Luke. As I've recently been bringing out, too, on my sit-down lessons. So, this is basically like a precept to uh, Matthew 24, verse 6 through verse 7. <coughs> and this is a precept, Luke 21 and 9. And this is the last precept, and I'm going to close out the sit-down lesson for today. Uh, This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. Through the Holy Scriptures, verse 9, in the book of Luke, and it reads, But ye shall hear of wars and commotions. Right, wars and commotions. That's where we are hearing right now. You know, the increase of uh, wars and rumors wars. That's why you're seeing these uh, nations doing military exercise drills war-like type simulation games type drills joint navy exercise drills you know like i've been mentioning before in my previous videos back way back you know uh it been starting back in from 2021 all the way to now in the year 2022 because these prophecies are uh unfolding and it, it is heating up because we are living in uh, biblical prophecy times you know according to the holy scriptures you know because this is the year of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shaz turning up. Because prophecy has definitely been turning up, you know. Uh, just like our beloved uh, Elder Apostle Tahar made that statement about, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shaz is going to turn up. You know, he's turning up the heat on these prophecies in which we're seeing right now, you know. And yeah, in the last days, you're going to hear a lot of uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars. The nation should rise against nations. You should hear uh, commotions, wars and commotions, you know. And But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. By and by, right, because the end is not yet, like I mentioned before. In the precept that I brought out, Matthew 24 and 6, the verse 7, the verse 8, 
you know. Then I'm wrong this precept about Luke 21 and 9, you know, because the end is not yet because more upcoming prophecies are coming. Uh, the push for the MOTB, the Karagma, you know, second world was passed. Behold, third world coming quickly. You know, and those the two main prophecies are coming, you know, as I just named those two, you know, roughly paraphrase for those uh, <coughs> in reference to that, you know. So, yeah, we are living in biblical prophecy times, you know. So with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh and uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of great Memstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close out this lesson on this May 18th, 2022, at uh, 3.16 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Wednesday afternoon, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, the increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars is going to increase more and more. And it's heating up in the last days, you know, because this is the year of uh, Yahweh Shemal Shai is turning up in the year of 2022. So with that, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.